And time to hear from the skipper downstairs we go. Here's Buck Show. Pretty, uh, I think it's real complicated. You know, you command the fastball at this level with his stuff, you, you got a chance to have success, and that's pretty much direct correlation when he pitches well and when he has some struggles. Buck, no more victories at all here, but the team really made a nice effort offensively, really came back right to the final out. Oh, place. yeah. We, uh, We'd like to. If we could have held them there at five-one. Felt like, uh, you know, the ball would be carrying well day in a day game, especially out there in left center. Just uh, Matt and uh, Nikki had a lot of good swings, and you know, you got to tip your hat to. You know, they made some plays there in the last game. There's so many things happened to get to that point. Now we're a little short in the bullpen today, and last thing we really, you know, it's just didn't get deep in the game where we could. We had three pitchers we were going to use today, but. Uh, Unfortunately, we had to use them all. What does it say about the character of the team and maybe how they're different from previous years that they fight back? I don't know. You know, it's a, it's a. I don't think it surprises anybody, especially me. You know, there's a, you know, there was a good air about the dugout. You know, from the first day on, it's been that way since opening day, and um, you know they feel like as a group they can overcome some things. We, but you know, it's like last year we got. A lot of these hit you in the face. You, you know, it's, pitching's hard to do. It's one of the hardest things to do in professional sports, and to be consistent pitching. And that's what everybody's looking for as a team and as an individual. But uh, you know, our guys tried to overcome it today and came real close to doing it. Buck, is, is Nick Johnson starting to turn the corner maybe a little bit? I don't know, Brittany. You know, it's, he, he's had some good swings. He's had some. I thought he had some good at bats in Boston, and um, you know, he, uh, you know, you, you trust the effort and the. The preparation and the approach, you know, he just, uh, he's a professional hitter. And, uh, but not to say that, you know, this mental emotional thing doesn't creep into it regardless of your uh, experience level. But he, you now I'm, I'm proud of the fact that, you know, and he hasn't given in. He keeps grinding it. And, uh, you know, he had a big at bat for us today. You guys were 12 and 6 against the, against the AL East. It's best. Best you've done against them in a really long in a really long time, and a lot of those lo and a lot of those losses have been pretty have been pretty close. Is that is that satisfying to you? How you know how well you're playing? I, I don't you know I don't like the word satisfied. I don't think anybody you know everybody. We know what the job description here is at the end of the day is to win, and um, I don't think anybody. But I'm real proud of them. I've been proud of them since we went to camp, and uh, so uh, you know whatever happened here today and. What didn't and what did, uh, when they walk out the door, you know, there's another challenge coming in tomorrow and the next day and the next day. It's just part of the job description, but there's, uh, I don't know, um, nothing happened on that field day that I, I didn't expect to happen, not necessarily physically, but just uh, uh, a mental side of it. You know, it's a good group. Well, getting back to Arietta real quick, you mentioned the fastball command being off. Is that a case, though, where you'd still like to see him be able to get through five, six innings and kind of find a way when he doesn't have his stuff to kind of scratch yeah, out? Yeah, and he has before. He has before. He did the last outing. But I'd a lot more have the other side. I think it's because, you know, Jake's capable of, of better. And uh, I know that's what frustrates him somewhat. And, uh, you know, it's like we're trying to stay away from the situation we got in today where we had to pitch – you know, Troy, an extra inning, and uh, or so, and you know that's where getting deep in the games comes into play. You know, hopefully we'll get uh, JJ and Strope and Ayala back tomorrow and see what we can do. But do you like where you guys are at going into you know, look, moving ahead here to the Yankee series? I mean, you know, I, I don't say this. You know, you know, I, I don't say this means this is going to happen. This, this game's human beings and. See what's in store the next day, and you, you deal with it, and you move on. We've had some moving parts because of the injuries, and um, you know I, I think we've handled that well mentally. I don't, it's not a topic of conversation there. We look at it as an opportunity to have a, a moment that the team needs, and uh, and it's not just the team; it's an organizational uh, team. And um, you know I'm, I'm proud that we've been able to withstand some of the challenges that uh, everybody has during the course of the season. You just don't expect them at this volume, you know, together. But uh, we'll get them healthy and try to and uh, maybe find some good things while waiting.